To export images from the Volume Sun Eye, you're going to click on this archive button that we showed earlier. This will take you into something called Sono View. And it's going to pull up this blank screen, and you can open a previous exam or you can click current exam. I don't have a current exam where I saved images. So I'm going to go ahead and click open. Here's the test patient I did. I can click on that and I can take a look at the images here. I can review them, delete them, send them to like a DICOM server, print them, export to USB, back up to a hard drive, or just close. So right now I'm going to go ahead and review those images. Now I have a Cine loop here and I can go ahead and click play. And that shows my Cine loop. And when you have 40 or 3D or 40 images, you can click on those two and either play them if they're a loop or not. Now if I want to review them in a larger screen, I'm going to go ahead and click layout. And I can do single, click OK. And now I have a larger view of that image and I can just go along the bottom here and play my Cine review. Click play. And see the other images there. So if I want to export those images, I can go back. I can click over here and click on this save icon, but I find it's easy just to go back and export the entire patient by coming down and clicking export. Now it's going to ask me what I want to do, and if I have 40 images, I'll click that image cine, not this rotational cine, but I'll click the 40 image cine. I'll also save my 2D cines. Right now it's saying DVC CD. What I want to do is export it to a USB, so I will insert USB drive into the back of the machine. So I've inserted a USB drive into the back of the machine into one of the USB slots. And now I can select the XT1. And then I'm going to enter a file name. So I'll just say test images. Just test. And it's going to allow me to click OK. This reduction ratio is for compression. It's to save some file space. But if you're just going to go, what I've chosen up here is AVI. You have these different ways. And this is all for PC format. Uh, to export to the USB. So you want bitmap, JPEG, TIFF, or AVI. Bitmap's going to be a little bit higher quality than your JPEG images, but they'll also be larger file sizes. So you can go ahead and click bitmap. AVI will give me the cine loops and all that. So I'll go ahead and say 2D cine. And then I'll click OK. It's going to give me that export process, and when it's done, I have all my images on that USB in a PC format. When it's done, it's going to give me an export complete. And the process is similar when you're sending you a DICOM server or a DICOM printer, but first we need to set up a DICOM server, and since I have nothing here, I can go ahead and add it, but we will do that in the system setup chapter and go through all the DICOM setups there before we go ahead and do to that. You can go ahead and click close. I'm going to go through some of these over here. This is for your printer. You can magnify your image here. Uh, you can view your report here. You can export your images that way, but like I said, you, it's best to export the images from that next screen. This next, we can take a measurement, an ellipse or a standard measurement. Uh, if you want to record and do a voice annotation, you can do that here. You can also write a comment there. Take this next tab, and this is all for DICOM storage, DICOM printing. Uh, email that I don't recommend and here is where you can do your system settings so when like this exam navigator is here it says open exam list it will say display all exams or you can only have it show the last 31 days in that box there if it gets all filled up you can also hide that list here's where you set up your mail server again I don't recommend that um, your drives for exporting this is setting up that that USB stick that I did right there in E if I want it to create patient folders and include report data when I export it, I can set that up there. And for a DVD CD recorder, this is where you could set that up, but usually it works by itself just fine. So I'm going to hit cancel there. And this final one is also to write, to erase and prepare CD DVD, or if I want to eject that USB stick that I put in, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now. And I'm going to click on that and stop the device. Now I can move it to the system. So I'll go ahead and click close. You can also access that USB screen from pressing USB down here. I don't think it'll work here in this Sono View mode. And that's Sono View and how to export images to a USB stick and the network.
I'm going to return to scan mode. And next we'll get into the system setup.